Black Widow may have one of the most engaging premises of any Marvel movie. How ironic is that, considering the reaction to this film being mostly a question of why? Why does this story need to be told and why do we need a Black Widow film? And this is something that the film solidly answers, but in my opinion, even though there are signs of greatness slipping through the cracks, I believe the film ultimately misses out on the underrated gem this film could have become. And while I find a good majority of Marvel films to be 5 out of 10 at best, I would say that every Marvel film has an aspect to it that I enjoy. I mean, I still watch them, right? So, so please keep that in mind throughout this, since the last video I made on Marvel got a, a very negative reception and caused me to end up deleting that video, so I'm trying to be more careful with how I write my opinions. This video will tackle both positive and negative factors of the film, so spoiler warning ahead, let's discuss the untapped potential of Black Widow. Okay. Black Widow is a story about freedom and family. We have on paper a brilliantly compelling story in which a victim of abuse and torture is seeking to find and kill her abuser, and also free everyone he affected from his control. It's a scarily realistic topic with the whole Weinstein situation a few years ago. It's a very mature topic for Marvel to consider, and yet it fits so well into the story of these Russian sleeper agents that is a story that Black Widow was tailor made to be. Every character in the film is tied in some way to the theme of freedom and control. These are girls that were abandoned by their families for not being male, something that is also scarily relevant today. These girls were swept up and turned into soldiers, leaving their life behind and being forced into slavery as these mindless killing machines against their own will, long past wanting to escape, and yet the only one of them to ever be free is coming back to get them and seek revenge. It's an intense story for a film that is essentially a popcorn, fun, loving action film. And unfortunately, this is where the film's major issues lie. The tone of the story. The character with the most praise coming out of Black Widow was David Harbour's hilarious performance as the Red Guardian. But on paper, this is anything but hilarious. Alexei Shostakov... Nailed it. ...formed a real bond with these girls over their three years in hiding and even outside of prison would call them his daughters, and yet he is the one that led his daughters to be trafficked by the Red Room, so willingly in an effective opening credits that really shows the horror these girls were subjected to. You should not be laughing with him, but at him, for the terrible person he is, and yet all being in the past gives him some kind of excuse. The character never gets his moment to redeem himself and be a good parent. His attempt to protect Yelena is a joke. His fight with Taskmaster is barely seen. And this is what leaves the character feeling incomplete and not worth rooting for, because he is in essence a terrible man that went to prison and has came out a bumbling buffoon, which is unfortunately given very funny lines, like very funny lines. My father, he go toilet on my hands. Oh my god. Urine is oh 35 god. degrees Celsius. Is that an excuse? Is making him funny an excuse? Yes. There are also many examples where hard hitting topics like this are washed aside with jokes. And my only explanation for this is that it was done by the studio to stop things getting too heavy. Which is disappointing, because of things like the title card, which appears over the sounds of little girls screaming after being dragged out of a shipping container, and yet not an hour later we are making awkward banter at a dinner table. Hey, huh? You're just as beautiful and as supple as the distance to me. Which goes past the point of being offensive and is insulting towards the subject matter 
they were trying to convey. Following on from this, we have the Widows themselves being controlled with a magic gas, which is a very Disney way of covering up the incredibly powerful story of these girls being subjected to mental torture over decades, which hits incredibly hard. The truth of the world is that magic gas does not save people's lives. Child trafficking is a devastating nightmare to learn about, never mind experience. And if the film was daring to delve into the backstory of Natasha, then it could have done her more justice in the present by following through with the same realism that it puts into the opening scenes. When I talked about the seeds of greatness slipping through, the main thing that comes to mind is the most laughed at part of the movie, where Rhea Winston has pheromones that stop Natasha from hurting him. The execution is terrible, with very little setup, but I could see what they were going for. I've heard of many stories where abuse victims completely crumbled when they saw their abuser, or even the smell on their clothes can be enough to break them and be submissive towards them. It's a horrible form of real-world torture that the film clearly wished to explore. But then Natasha headbutts a desk, and is magically fine. <laughs> Which is again an unfortunate way of resolving the situation in a poor way that leaves the actual topic of conversation feeling pointless. Her fighting the Widows after should have packed a much bigger punch, as the need for action almost forces any emotion behind the scenes to boil down to Natasha is losing, and not that Natasha does not want to fight them. If there was one movie in the MCU that needed a drastically not Disney tone, it was this one. Black Widow is a film about family and freedom, and unfortunately pushes much further into the family dynamic than the freedom one and hanging the movie on a dysfunctional family that must come together in the end to save the day, which sounds like a Disney story. Obviously, my go-to answer for many of my complaints have been studio meddling, but after so many of Disney's movies being changed to fit a template, it really wouldn't surprise me if we found this out in a few years' time. However, it can always be chalked up to the fact of how massive these films are to make, with so many kooks in the kitchen, it's a miracle that good films are even made, and the success of Black Widow would be giving people secure jobs at Disney, coming out of this pandemic, which is a real positive take from the film. In a year that was especially gruelling for so many people, the lighter tone that the film ended up going with actually makes a lot more sense. This is the first MCU film where I feel a director's cut would be the best solution. Maybe in a few years' time, coming back to the footage with fresh eyes and improving the pace of the scenes, and more importantly the tone of them, would really make the film feel closer to the premise that we were promised in the beginning. 